Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video a couple of days ago, I promised to draw Lilies of the Valley again, but this time in their natural size rather than an extreme close-up. So today is just going to be a short little speed drawing video of uh, Lily of the Valley flowers um, in their kind of natural size or as close to real size as I could get them on paper. I apologize for the loss of focus here, I wasn't paying attention to my camera and it focused on my hand rather than my drawing. It should only last a few seconds. I'm going to be using Nicker poster color paints again for this one and I've decided to um, use a bottle of Frisk masking fluid that I got in the last scroller box. I was having a little bit of trouble applying this I ended up with bubbles and blobs so I'm just using an, um, like a pin to um, drag it out from areas where I could put down a blob and then drag it to avoid um, actually covering areas I didn't want to cover. I've sped this up quite a bit so you don't have to sit there and watch it for as long as it took me to do and it kind of took me ages I was surprised because I really like this precision bottle when I just got it. I want to try and achieve extreme contrast here because the flowers are so tiny they'd be really hard to see on a page. So I've mixed up some green and black so the background's really dark. Um, this would allow you to kind of see the flowers better. Because I struggled with the masking fluid, I did end up covering some bits of paper that I didn't want to cover. But I'm just going to um, come back with this really dark color and tidy up the contour in, um, in a bit. These little flowers are so pretty. I really wish they bloomed all year round. And the smell it produced for such a tiny flower can actually fill the room. It's so sweet. It's just beautiful. It's one of nature's wonders, I think, and definitely one of my favorite flowers. Now I'm just tidying up some of those contours that I messed up. And I'm using the same color that I mixed up earlier, even though it's already dried on the palette. Nicker poster paints can be reactivated, um, like you can leave them for any amount of time. Just add a little bit of water and reactivate the paint so nothing goes to waste, it's kind of cool. Now I just want to add a little bit of detail and shading into the actual flowers and it's done. It's um, a little bit harder to do when they're so tiny, which is why I really wanted to do the close-up that I did in my last video, but um, I do think they look a lot prettier as they are to be honest rather than zoomed in, so you immediately recognize what they are as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more random art. Thanks, see you soon.